Hey guys, it's Julian. So I'm not doing my intro and outro at the end of this video <sighs> just because I don't feel like it. I don't feel like the upbeat music is needed right now. I figured I would just kind of be real about it and just kind of get it over with. So my legs have been utter crap the last few weeks. I've not really been able to walk. I've had to use my son's stroller as a walker. My uh, husband has had to help me ar move around the house. My legs aren't working, basically. So I had an appointment later on this month, like towards the end, closer to the end of the month, to see my doctor. But I needed to be seen sooner. So this morning, I was able to see her. Instead of waiting till the 28th, like, I think I was supposed to see her. Anyway, um, so I talked to her about how my what my legs are doing, how I'm feeling. And I had told her, I said, you know, I wanted a few tests run. I wanted to have my back checked, um, specifically my spinal cord, because there are forms of M MS uh, that attack the spine rather than the brain itself. So I mentioned that. Um, and she's, she was listening. And I said I wanted uh, to be tested for Lyme disease. And worst case scenario, I would have liked to be tested for lupus. She said, I am not adverse to running these tests. And I understand why you want to run these tests. However, what is your A1C like? How are your uh, your glucose numbers? My glucose numbers have not changed. So I'm still, my A1C is 10, which is high. And she said, my fear right now is that this is diabetic neuropathy. So, let's get your A1C checked to see what your numbers look like. Depending on what the numbers look like, I would like to, if you're okay with it, she said, I will work with you however you want to work on this. She said, we can continue with medications to see if it helps. Or, and that will take like six months, or after three months' time of you having an injection, um, we'll see if that brings your numbers down. Again, this all depends on what comes back for my A1C. So I told her. I would rather, at this point, if it happens to be diabetic neuropathy, I would rather get my numbers down sooner rather than later. So that is the plan for that. Um, she is also going to be putting in a referral for physical therapy because if I need a walker, they are the ones to determine that. And if they determine I need a walker, well, insurance will pay for it. Otherwise, insurance won't pay for it. Um, so there's that. Um, my doctor finally listened to me, okay? I've had issues with my legs in the past. And to be honest, I was kind of stubborn. I walked to my appointments because our apartment is not far from the doctor's office. Um, I've walked there and I just sat down in this, you know, I walked up to the window and told them why I was there, sat down in the waiting room. Um, 
This time around, I did not do that. I used my son's stroller as a, a walker for myself, and when we got to the door before walking in, I told Raynor, I said, get me the wheelchair. I'm going in on a wheelchair <laughs> because I can't. I just can't. So he got me the wheelchair, and of course, the receptionists are like, what? what are you here for today? Like, they were like, oh my gosh, Julian is in a wheelchair. Like, it freaked them out because I'm usually like, I'm, I'm hurting, but I can, you know, I'm stubborn. <laughs> I don't want to have to sit in a wheelchair. But today I did because I can't. And I'm going to cry. I'm sorry, this might be another cry video. I apologize for that. I know I shouldn't. But I am, because I don't, again, that's my stubbornness. I don't want to cry, <laughs> but I might. Um, but yeah, they were like really shocked that I was sitting in a wheelchair. Like I wheeled up to the window and I'm like, hi, I need to see my doctor. And they're like, I'm here for my appointment. And they're like, uh, okay, you're, you know, anything, any changes? No, you're all set. Just go, go to the waiting area. So then I went in right away and the nurse who is always concerned about my health, like she's really like always concerned about me, saw me in the wheelchair and she was like, do you want to skip being weighed in? And I'm like, no, I just need to take my time. And, you know, I should be okay to stand on the scale. So because I haven't been moving, because my legs have been utter, utterly useless, um, that has made me depression -y. And I went from like 2, 230, 231 to like 238. So I've gained nearly 10 pounds back. Um, Excuse me. So nearly 10 pounds back, but eventually I can get back off um, once I figure out what's going on with my legs and what to do either to fix my legs so that I can go back to what I was doing or figure out what to do now that my legs are just useless. Um, But I will be starting physical therapy. Hopefully that helps. Um, my volunteer job is supposed to be getting back to me about um, if they can accommodate me until then. Um, and if they can't, then I have to find another site. So... <sighs> I don't know. I'm just, I'm happy because I have some answers. Um, I don't like the answers, but I have answers. My doctor actually listened to me and we have a plan of action. So yay for finally having answers, um, not yay for what those answers are. Um, diabetic neuropathy could lead to future amputations. And with it being my legs, <laughs> I'm just, my mind is going to worst case scenarios and it's freaking me out. I'm not happy and I'm really upset because I've been working so hard to get to a healthy place and things just keep popping up. So yeah, that is my quick update. Well, not very quick, but quick. Hi, Buggy. I'm recording right now. That's my update um, on that. Um, as I know more and as more comes about, 
I will tell you, I will, I will do another video. Um, oh, and the last video I was talking about my, um, uh, my transition and how I need to get in contact with the counselor or possibly find a new counselor. Well, I got a call this morning from the counselor and I'm going, um, on the 9th for my first appointment. So I have that going for me as well. So that is a light in all this. Yeah. <laughs> that is me. I mean. yeah. So, yeah. He went down. Okay. Come back. Uh. Uh. So, yeah, that's my update. Um, the, the being a step closer to getting tea is the positive in to, in this day. The rest of it has just been kind of good but bad, if that makes any sense. So, all right, guys. Um, I hope everybody's having a good day. And whatever it is you're doing, just keep going.